Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pearls of Wisdom and a very, very happy new year. I really hope that's going to be a good one. You know that this is the year of the big changes. And um, now it's, you know, what I understand in the moment and what is really clear, as long as we focus on the positive and go with the change instead of ah, resist it, it will be good. Because where we are moving is a good place. And what is up now in mainstream and all these horror visions that they are telling us, this is now just uh, to make us insecure and to make us afraid. Because remember, the fear energy is loose, is what they live on. So the worst, what we have, what we give them for us is when we are afraid. So they try to trigger fear in all ways don't go for it okay focus on the positive always focus on the way forward and don't give them that fear they need to live on this is their food so we withdraw their food they try to not give us food anymore but we do the opposite okay so we have a very interesting question today now I say, please go ahead yes so as you mentioned before about the uh... Fit, fit fear yeah so uh i would like to ask about that uh, how can we control our emotions control emotions huh yeah that's a good one <laughs> um i want to give you a picture imagine the ocean and the uh, when there is wind or whatever the ocean there are waves on top right and uh, when there is a storm, there are big waves. When there's no storm, there are small waves. How do you control the waves? Actually, we cannot control the wave. Exactly. Okay, so generally, you cannot you cannot control emotions, in fact, because this is the surface of the water. Emotions uh, from the element, feelings, emotions is water. So, but we can control the weather. And, you know, that is within ourselves is kind of the weather we make it. If, again, just what I said, if we are afraid, if we are in fear, that is bad weather. And the waves are high. Mm -hmm. But if we are relaxed and we are focusing on the positive and we are in a good mood, the water is smooth. And this is how we control it. You cannot really control the emotions. But what we have to learn and what is always the teaching is that we learn to control the way we think or if we let negative things touch us to become sad, to become negative and uh, kind of push these emotions, make these waves. Once the waves are there, you cannot control them. But then what you can do is dive. If you have ever had an experience in diving, when the water on top is still rough and kind of, oh, I'm still going there, dive. And then uh -huh. it's smooth and whew, everything is right again. And that's that's exactly what you have to do. So first dive in and then go through the emotion beyond them. Because then you see that it's actually an illusion. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So now when emotions are coming up, just say, okay, I cannot, I cannot control the emotions, but I can move away from them. Mm -hmm. So when you, for example, uh, when you're very angry or whatever happened that really these emotions are coming up, then you know, then your focus is there. You can control your focus, uh -huh. but 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 sometimes uh, the brain and the mind takes over. Yeah, yeah, I know. The, uh -huh. But that's also part of our human experience. Part we are shaken, we are mourning, we are crying, we are screaming, we are angry, whatever. That's fine, but don't stay there. 
But there is a moment we have to go through it. That's why I say when you dive, you go through the waves and then go deeper. And then you will find out when you go deeper, that means you find out afterwards why the emotions are rising so high. Like, for example, somebody makes you really angry and you are getting into a very angry state. You have emotions. And what you can do then is... Um, you know, first you feel the anger and then you you say, OK, why is it possible that this makes me angry? And that is kind of diving into the topic and find within yourself. Why does that make me angry? Why this topic can touch me to create anger? And that is again, then this is the mind that is you're talking to to yourself to find out what is the reason behind the emotions. Now, for example, uh, you might have a childhood memory that suddenly pops up from a similar situation or, or anything. And then you said, and then you can let it go. Then you can move forward and you can let go the emotions and you can move forward. Thank you. I just mm -hmm. received a cup of coffee. Wow. This is the beautiful Cecilia is already here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Sylvia. Very good. So you move beyond. You cannot avoid the emotions. They are coming up. It's part of our lives. It's part of us is touching us. Like when we have happy emotions and we are very happy and we kind of float on the happy emotions, right? But when the emotions are negative, again, I just said before about the loose, and that loose is the food for negative entities, for demons and whatever, negative controlling entities. When we are moving into these negative emotions, they feed off these energy emotions. And it's wow. very important that we let go, that we move through. So it, as a visual Imagine when you have this anger, whatever it is, sadness, whatever. Okay, I'm in this. Imagine that you're on in this in this uh, ocean, and that is these waves. And then you you literally can do that as a visualization. You put on the the the, um, the oxygen tank, or if if you are good in visualization, you go without and you visualize that you have maybe a fish tail or whatever you want to do that you can breathe you go down and you go down to the beautiful ground maybe sandy but it's just a little bit like that and you visualize that down there you ask what is triggering that emotion and you will get the picture or if you don't get it a picture in the moment just breathe and calm down and say okay when the time is right give me the answer and you will receive it at one point, maybe a little bit later when you are moving on and, and this pain or whatever is completely gone. Why that I react in such an emotional way? You know, with visualization, we can make so much, we can move so much beyond problems and beyond um, situations that hurt us. Hmm. Again, you you are and you create that what your focus attracts. So when you focus at something positive, that focus attracts something positive. When you focus on the negative, it attracts the negative. But what is coming up now in this year, what I said also in my previous reading, there will be a lot of coming to the surface that will shock us. And it's difficult to look at. And this is why, that's what I recommend. Imagine all these waves then and go down, go into a deep place within yourself. It can also be a place um, on top of a mountain, for example. Or it can be a place in the forest. Mm -hmm. Just a very quiet place. Find a place, maybe a, a place where you have been happy when you were a child. And this is diving. So, okay, you dive into a different energy when you dive into a place where you feel good. 
I'm a water person, you know, so I, for me, diving is beautiful. <laughs> Floating on the water <laughs> there. And and then you can you can calm down and then you can look at it from a different perspective. And say, okay, uh, this is a, a problem that actually, in fact, has nothing to do with me now. So I let it go. Like when it is something in the world, when it's something really personal, then I can ask myself, why is it that this person triggers such emotion within me? And then you find the resonance between you and that person that triggers. For example, where is my insecurity? Because very often when you get angry, when it's because somebody that is uh, playing an authority or a boss or whatever around you triggers something where you feel weak. Why is this my weakness? Why do I have not enough self-esteem to, to look at that in a different way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I see. And and then you can and then you can move on. Then you can move beyond. Then you're not stuck in there. The worst is to be stuck in emotions. Mm. So it's like we need to practice because we cannot control the you know automatic emotion or reaction. Yeah. We have you know, to this, practice. Yes. Been. Yes. But the the emotion itself, you cannot control the emotions. But you can control your mood. Hmm. This is why also we say breathe, breathe, or relax, or meditate, or whatever. These are methods that we can use to move beyond. But and especially this year, what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing is that it will be for many people a very emotional time. Whatever mm. comes up, the only way is we draw, let th that ocean over there, those waves over there, then we draw, go somewhere else and look, why does it touch me? What mm. does it have to do with me? Where is my resonance to this that made me so angry, so sad, so whatever emotional? Mm. So, so this is the, the way that the way that you mentioned is uh, the way that I tune into the emotions before the brain takes over, right? Yeah. And then you can move away. You have to move away from it. Because you cannot control it. When you are there and try to control it, you know, this is not working. You have to go away. Uh, but it does not mean that I suppress the emotion. No. The no. Emotion is part of feeling. This is when the feelings go wild. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. And why do feelings go wild? It's because maybe of the wind. Now just oh. live at the picture. And and the wind and, and or the, the weather, the rain, whatever it is, makes the oh. storm. So I find shelter from that storm. And instead of remaining in the storm, I step out of the storm and become the observer. And this is where I can find peace again. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, this is one of the spiritual teachers also that we have to become the observer because we are here as a human, as a human having a divine experience. Uh, as a divine being having a human experience, we are the divine being. So as a divine being, I look at my human experience because the stage of the world that I'm playing my game is not who I am. I am not my emotions. I am not this physical body. I am not my hand. I am not my mind. I am not my thoughts. I have thoughts. I have a hand. I have emotions. Whatever I have, I can lose or I can step away from. I have a cup of coffee here, right? <laughs> I can choose now to drink a sip or to put it away. Okay. Um, I want to ask or uh, refer to as example. If 
in case maybe I, I was, you know, discuss something with my boss and then I feel very annoyed and frustrated. I burst out, you know, emotion of like, yeah. <laughs> yes. But if I, you know, because he, she's my, my boss, I have to push down. So, yeah, push it down. So, so is this like, we have to be the observer after this event passed? Well, what look, you... when it happened, it always happened first, right? Okay, so the event itself, that she say something to you that make you, ah, uh, mm -hmm. when this moment has passed, but you're still angry, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so the thing is, you find out why are you angry? Why is it even possible that she can make you angry? What is wrong with me that this person can make me angry, that I give my power away to that person to create negative energy? Mm. And when you really have, if you really can figure that out, because again, you have a weakness, she um, scolds something, maybe that has, does not even make any sense. So maybe you should stand up for yourself and say no. That's not what I did, or no, that's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm here for. That's not in my contract, or whatever it is. You have not stepped up for yourself, and you're angry, in fact, at yourself that you have not stepped up for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's always when something can make you angry, something can make you sad. It's always still something within you that is not healed and is reflected from the outside so everybody around us is just giving us a reflection of what we have not yet healed and that is our emotional reaction because within us something is not healed yet it has in fact not much to do with the other person and this is what is so important that we take back our power even if I'm very angry or very whatever at some other person, it's still my problem. Why am I angry? Why am I creating emotion? Hmm. So you have to find the root of your weakness or of your inner anger, of your inner insecurity that creates the emotion. And once you find that you can heal yourself and next time in a similar situation, it doesn't touch you anymore. Uh, yeah, I, I just come up with one <clears throat> one example. Uh, if I see one person that's, that she ha uh, he has like trouble with uh, financial statement, a uh, financial uh, problem, yeah, okay. and I feel like uh, empathy, and I would like to give him the money, right? Is it that the I give my power away to him or, or not? Yeah, look, the thing is, let's let's put it that way. A lot of uh, things that are happening, especially social things, when we so-called help other people, are in fact negative. Because remember, we all have a way to experience our life. And for mm -hmm. example... It is very clear that many people who, who run over the world to help this and to help that, they don't really help. They make the situation for others worse. And remember in the oh. divine order is, if I want help from my upstairs team, from my guiding angel, whatever, I have to ask for. So don't ever help somebody who is not asking for. You're not allowed to. These people have to grow up and have to see that they have to act themselves. As long as we just kind of superimpose ourselves and help, they are not free anymore. You know, they are like in a prison. And this is what uh, most most of social aid and whatever is doing is imprisoning people. Mm. 
So find out why you react to certain emotions. What is your problem? And don't worry about the others. If this boss has, has called you, whatever, that's her problem. That's that's not yours. But if you are reacting to it, then it's the reaction is your problem. Uh, I see. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, and especially in this year to come, I think this is very, very important to remember because a lot will come up. I mean, we have uh, to completely rewrite our history and other stuff that was falsified a couple hundred years ago about to, to push us into a certain way to become a certain way that now at the time, at the end of the Mayan calendar, certain beings can take over the world that was their plan and it's not working out so the better we behave the better we grow up we understand the spiritual law that is behind all that what is happening the faster we move forward mm -hmm. the more obedience and, and ignorance the longer it will take mm -hmm. So as you mentioned about this year going to be a big change. Yeah. So I have one more question that how can we break our habits that are connected to the feelings and emotion from long time ago? Because yes. the thing is going to be changed, right? Yeah. Because now see, we all grew up and our parents, grandparents and many generations, we all grew up within, we can say that um, slave dogma in a way you know that um we are told as children already that we are not worthy we are not good enough or we have to do this and that and a way of life has been um brainwashed hammered into us with with everything around us that includes movies that includes everything that we behave in a certain way it's all brainwashed now this is very, very difficult, and we are not able to just let it go. The only way is now, again, see, when we differentiate between emotions and feelings, the feelings, what is deep inside us, is connected with our higher self, we can say with our divine self. So if we have a quiet moment, then we can feel our upstairs team we can feel the divine talking to us we can call it inspiration you can call it gut feeling you can call it intuition but we cannot we won't have intuition when we are in an emotional turmoil right so we need to find a place but that's also not for everybody for example I know many people, including me, I have um, my best intuition when I swim or some people when they run or do sports or hiking in the mountain, whatever. You find your personal way because we are different. But find that way where this inner voice can talk to you. For me, it was also very often when I still was in Europe, I always had a big dog and I was walking. I went every morning walking with the dog and I went into that forest. And I, it was that moment when I really connected with nature and with self. And I had lots of good ideas what I can do and, and problem solving and so on, you know. So that you can do that, you have each situation that come up, each thing that's coming up. It has a reason, first of all, that it comes into your life. You have to look at it. Whatever's coming is for you. Don't look away. Move beyond. Move through. But don't look away. And then try to go into that state that you be the observer, that you do not take it personal. For example, when your boss scream at you, it is, in fact, never really personal, but it's because your boss is frust frustrated and can and, and has a problem herself or himself. So he kind of pushes the negative energy to somebody else and you are become the victim of his mood. And so this is the same. Some problems that stuff that come up it's, it's not personal for us, 
but it is something that is happening in the world or happened in the world that we need to heal. And whatever is coming, when we look at it and go into the deeper um, understanding, um, then we can move, then we can move on and we can move forward. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is with everything the same, whatever it is. And uh, whatever will come in, in this year, how much does it touch me? And what do I have to let go to be able to move on? What uh, does this want to show me? Just then observe and let go. Through. Yeah. Right. And then let it just go. Just observe and let go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And try to observe that you're not too much emotionally involved. Mm -hmm. There were things that will trigger emotion. Absolutely. There will be turmoil. <laughs> but it's good because only this chaos, you know, we need sometimes a little bit being shaken up mm -hmm. to to let go of something, you know. And, and I just come up with one question. Uh, because... Uh... I, we 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 think that we have to let to let it go, right? But it's still in the in the thinking, in the thought. It's not yeah. from my. How can yeah. I let go from my from, from, from the from, mind from, from the habit? Yeah, yeah, the habit. Uh huh. It's difficult. <laughs> Again, it, it is really like we, we kind of need to be reborn in a new paradigm. We cannot take the old with us. Uh, and yeah. all the old, what is in the past, which is competition, which is all the old story that we have lived our whole life and our parents, grandparents, and in our past life incarnations, the last couple thousand years, you know, has to go. But if we go deeper and deeper and deeper, we'll find the root of who we truly are, the divine root. You are a divine being having a human experience. But most people identify with the human being. And we move more and more and more out of the identification with the human being and more and more identify ourselves with the divine being having a human experience. That's the step out. And that in a way is also you can, can, can make a mantra with that too. Like instead of getting angry when somebody outside of you wants to blame you for something or whatever, you can say I'm a divine being having a human experience and this is not my problem. This is oh. her problem because she's angry. So I'm now giving in and become angry because she or he is angry. <laughs> but in the reality, it's difficult to think like that. Of course, it's difficult. And I'm not saying that it's not. I mean, if the path of ascension would be so easy, Oh, okay. We would be all enlightened long time ago, you know. Uh, uh, uh. And you know, I I also sent out some a quote recently that enlightenment actually is destruction. You have to let go everything what you believe in, everything what you ever had. You have to let go, let go, mm -hmm. let go, let go. Mm -hmm. And you have to go into this primordial trust. That in any moment, you know what you have to do. And this is not the remembrance from the brain, from past events to tell you how to behave. Mm, okay. So that's a different story. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. I see. Mm -hmm. So to recap, emotions we cannot avoid. But we can go through them, move beyond them, and find the reason for the emotion. And then we can change the weather. We can change our attitude. We can change our thoughts. We can change our behavior. Or even like, you know, in the moment, you will see there's many people that move out of our lives because their frequency is completely different. And they're moving on another timeline. 
and it's time to bless them and say goodbye. I see you another lifetime or I see you whatever. Nobody's lost. Everybody will go on their own timeline and move forward in their own space, in their own uh, pace. <laughs> and it might not be with us. Mm -hmm. I see. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's a very important thing for this year for everybody to remember because that is a year that we are tested with this very much. And again, I I have so many times experienced that when I reacted just immediately, bang, anger, that it actually just hurts me and not the other person and it has in fact nothing to do with the other person so i still get angry once in a while but not that much anymore like 10 years ago or so <laughs> so it's just like um try to move from being the human you know into being the one having a human experience mm. And that will help us forward. Hmm. Okay, I let you with these thoughts and everybody with these thoughts. Thank you very much for listening. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. And again, I wish you all, all, all the best for this coming year and look forward to see you again. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Happy New Year. Thank you.